We literally have no idea what we're doing. I hope we find some inspo. I'm starting to get over Coachella already. Hey y'all, it's Gunnar Jethridge. Welcome back to my channel. I am a DIY designer and a fashion designer, but today we're doing something a little different. We are going to my first ever Coachella. We're sitting here in Palm Springs right now, but I thought I would take you guys on the journey with me. My boyfriend, Chris, is coming with me today. Neither one of us have ever done Coachella. I have a feeling it's going to be a chaotic experience. This is definitely something that we don't normally do. It was three fast days of making clothing, a quick drive out to the desert, and honestly, a race to get everything in. But we captured some really fun footage for you guys, and I feel like the journey is definitely worth watching. Before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, comment, subscribe. I wanna make sure that you guys see my content as it comes out. I also wanna say thank you to YouTube for sending us to Coachella. Shorts has definitely been a game changer for me, so to have them on my side is a big win. Without any further ado, let's go to Coachella. Okay, so we are in the leather store. Chris has never been in a leather store before. He's losing his mind. This is crazy. He's it gonna do so like, <laughs> like share a little bit one day, like, yeah. like suede fringe, all of that magic. So we're gonna shop for it. Okay, all I have is this little sample so far, which is too thick to wear, but I like the color palette. We are taking a short coffee break and then heading to Mood. Chris thinks that he wants to wear really thick leather, but I think he's going to chafe and bleed. I've bled before, I'll bleed again. Not in the heat and not for three days. We're going to find a solution. Feeling a little burned out. Fabric shopping is hard. Fabric shopping for so many outfits at one time, even harder. So, hanging in there. Just feeling a little stressed. Me taking my Project Runway boyfriend to Mood Fabrics. It's pretty crazy. Just going to spend all my money again. <laughs> this leather. It's so cool. It says I'm a tan with this one. It's definitely a different color than the swatch, but cool texture. I mean, this is really cool. It shows up like white on camera. Does it have any sort of sparkle moves in? No. Like in person, yes. Yeah. I mean, it's important to have photographs for sure. Like from here, it just looks white. It's beautiful. Super silver. Yeah. How does it feel? Is it soft? Yeah. Okay, we've entered migraine territory. Uh, we have one more store to do today. We've made some progress, some leeway, still a lot of unanswered questions. Okay, super lucky. Last stop had the suede. Um, so now heading home. Okay, we're making a mock-up short. Okay, I chickened out of doing the first sewing. So Gunnar is taking the black um, the center piece of the harness and going through it to make the edges nice and clean. Chris is terrified to cut his leather. It's happening. And I'm just like, just lay the crystals on it and cut it out. That's so flat and beautiful. And Look, he is so terrified. Look, this line is already bad. So bad. It's like one in the morning, by the way. <laughs> just drawing on leather. Okay, three days worth of sewing. We're exhausted but excited for Coachella. We are about to drive three hours out towards Palm Springs. Now all we have to do is pack. Okay, day one, we have officially made it in. We'll do a reveal here soon, but we've arrived. Hell yeah. We're alive. A little influencer action. Here is what my first day look turned out like. I have to say, I'm really into it. Also, Chris's is so incredible. He made this outfit himself. We're really excited. Turns out, I just came here to get drunk. Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Coachella! 
No, that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we keep that in the video? <laughs> Day two, it's very noisy, so, so forgive busy. us, but we are decked in black, decked in, in glitter. Ready for a bondage party, apparently, except for I'm wearing glitter pants today. We got the memo, though. There's a lot of it over here. Yeah, there's a lot of people here today. It is like Influencer City, which I know that says a lot because I am that. I moved to LA and became an influencer, which is exactly what I said I wouldn't do, but shit happens, right? <laughs> Chris looks amazing. He's Coachella-ing it so hard, he can't even handle it right now. <laughs> Just taking a moment to post some content, but um, influencer status. It's wild what you see when you're here. So like, so much personal style and fashion, bad choices, good choices. Some good choices, some bad choices. You see a little bit of everything, but like, what a cool experience, honestly. <laughs> I've been in a bad mood today, Chris has been really good. You guys are making me very, very happy. It's a rough festival. <laughs> Feet are hurting, so we are home. My feet hurt so, I'm literally carrying my shoes in. I'm never this bitch, but I am <laughs> this bitch right now. Well, we got one more day, so we will check back in tomorrow. Blisters, for sure. Well, we have been in the car for about an hour and a half now. Day two, three, I'm sorry, is a little bit of a bust. The line for traffic to get in is ridiculous. We're uncomfortable, we went out of the car. So uh, we couldn't get into the festival, so we're gonna shoot our reveal here, which I think is like much prettier than the festival. We'll get it. We'll get in, we'll go watch it, we'll go have drinks, but for right now, breath of fresh air because this one was not having traffic. He was struggling was, with traffic. Ooh, I was mad. I'm Mr. So positive, mad. not so positive today. So three, two, one. Three, two, one. Honestly, the detour was well worth it because the light hit us so correct today. Both of us really love our photos. We have bad news. We are not going to day three of Coachella. We got so stuck and turned around by all the bad parking. Um, we left the house around 4.20 today. Um, it's now almost eight o'clock and uh, we could not get in. So, after just being circled around the place for hours and hours and hours, they finally led us to a parking spot that we need a shuttle to get in. Um, we missed pretty much everyone we wanted to see. What we're going to do is reclaim our night. We're going to go have a nice dinner at a nice restaurant and get cute and like back into our, ourselves and we're gonna make the most of it. Okay, so we definitely had an incredible dinner. Skipping Coachella was kind of a bummer at first, but like we had a really great night. I would definitely do Coachella again, but I would definitely do it a little differently. I think I would stay closer to the festival and a little bit less away from Palm Springs, but Palm Springs is definitely a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed our Coachella journey. Like I said, it was a wild ride the last few days, but we had a really good time and I'm glad that you guys came along for the ride. And until next time, bye guys. Bye.